Hey, hey guys, it's your boy Brett bringing you a, uh, a game review, non Summoner's War related. Uh, we're going to go through, and this one's going to be called Clash Royale. Now, I wanted to take you guys through the beginning of this game, but I've been playing it for about a week. I got into it, it got addicting, and I was like, crap, you guys aren't going to get to see it from the beginning at least. So I just kept playing it. I was looking to try to reset it here, but it's just not working. Actually, let me turn on a light for you guys. Oh, man. There we go. A little better. So I, uh, I've been trying to uh, not play it so much, but I have been. It's been fun. It's been, uh, of course, Clash of Clans meets, uh, you know, some, some card games. I don't know what you want to call it. Maybe... I don't know, the, what, Hearthstone maybe? No. Something. But anyway, it's been uh, it's been fun. So uh, I'll take you from the beginning. I'll take you from where I remember. So the way, so your standard, um, your standard uh, Clash of Clans characters, you've got um, your Barbarians, you've got Dragons, you've got uh, Giants, you've got the whole bit. The premise of the game is for me to attack you, and we get two small castles, one big castle, you know, best out of three wins, kind of. So uh, we'll start here, then I'll show you guys a battle. Uh, so as you can see, out of the shop, I've got gold and I can buy skeletons, which are common. There, I can buy a tombstone, which is rare. I can buy skeleton army, which is considered epic. You've got treasure chests, kind of like you do in Clash of Clans, where you can buy these for gems, and you get certain things inside those gems, or inside those treasure chests. You've got your gems, so of course, you got to be able to buy something. Got to be able to spend that money on something. So there that is, uh, gold, and of course you can use your gems on to buy gold. So there you go. So the shop, very, very simple. Uh, you kind of get to buy the cards you get. To where I know in Clash of Clans you had to research them and build up and, and you know pump those up. Here, same concept except the fact that you need so many pieces uh, to those cards. So like for instance that tombstone in there, it has an up green arrow which means I need four tombstone cards to upgrade it. And I've got four so I can upgrade it. Which will take you here. So right here we've got that. I can upgrade for 150 gold, and I will do that. And then, for instance, you can see they're, uh, they're rare, which is that orange. They cost 3 elixir to use. It's 220 hit points, plus 22 if I upgrade them. Right now, if I bring that out, it gives me 4 skeletons, plus 1 if I upgrade it. Their spawn speed, their deploy time, their lifetime, how long it lasts, the whole bit. Um, I will upgrade that so y'all can see how it works. There you go. So it has it together. I get some experience in the top left corner there. And that's how that works. Very simple. So, but as you can see, what I've got. I've got a, who is this, info. This is the uh, level 3 Valkyrie. I've got a level 3 Musketeer. I've got a level 3 Pika, or P-E-K-K-A, however you want to say it. Of course, what you just saw, the level 2 Skeleton Army. I've got a level 1 Prince. And where are we at? Level 3 Goblin Hut. Level 2 Fireball, which is a spell, of course. We've got some minions. Uh, I can't. Sh I can't show you those only because I can upgrade them, so it won't give me the info. Um, some skeletons, which are common. While we're at it, you've got <clears throat> the uh, grays are common. The oranges are rare. Or excuse me, blues are common. Uh, oranges are rare. Purple is epic. Um, you can't upgrade the skeletons to be epic. You can just upgrade them, but you have different things there. As you level up in different arenas, you can collect different things. So you can see how this guy opens at Arena 3. I'll show you that, but open up at Arena 3. And as you can see, there are some mystery cards. 
in there. I don't know what this one means though, because it's a diamond shape. That's the only one I haven't figured out yet. But as you can see, different cards. Here is my battle deck. So my average elixir cost for this battle deck is 3.1 elixir. Alright, I go through, it takes me three to summon my guy right here, you know, three for the archers, three for the bomber men, so on and so forth. So it's uh it gives you an average of how much it kind of how quick it is to run your deck, kind of like magic, you know, how much mana you need to run it and how quick it goes. Um and then with that said, I'm gonna take you into a battle and show you how that works. Now, the game itself will let you buy chests like we saw in the shop. I've got this one in the bottom left, which is I got after I won a battle. So I get that and it takes time to open. So as you can see, this one says it takes three hours to unlock. I'll start that three hour countdown now. After so long, I get chests to open. So every three hours, I get a chest. And inside of those chests, gold, different cards. There you go. My next chest I can open in 2 hours and 37 minutes. So just under uh, 3 hours. This bigger chest here, I get more gold, more cards, and as you see I got a rare card. Every now and then you will get a bigger chest that takes longer to open, which will give you more cards, better stuff, the whole bit. Also, this one here, this is crown chest. I collect 10 crowns and I get to open that chest. How do you collect uh, clowns? How do you collect clowns, you say? Well, you take your ass to the circus and hook that up. But in this game, you collect crowns by beating your opponent. So if you beat your opponent, you get three crowns. If you happen to lose because time expires, even though you may have destroyed one of their castles, you will still get the crown for that. So you can get one or two. Um, here, I'm in Arena 2. And as you can see, when you start, uh, you've got the trainer's camp. Inside the trainer's camp, you have the ability to unlock these cards via the chest. Once you make it up to, well, just, just by completing the trainer's camp, you go to Arena 1. These are the cards that you can unlock here. And it's completely random. So it's not like you're going to get these cards just for doing it. They're completely random. Uh... I am in, was it Arena 2? So these are the cards I can unlock here. So there we go. Now, as I get 400, actually no, as I get 800, shit, after I get 800 trophies from winning battles, I move to the Barbarian Bowl, which is Arena 3, and now I've got more things to unlock. Okay, and then of course, so on and so forth. I just keep going. The higher, more, more, uh, Trophies, the higher you go, okay? Uh, I will show you. Same guild battle setup. You hop in a guild. You guys play. The better you do, the higher you ranked. That is very, very simple. Here, the TV Royale, which is kind of cool. I haven't personally seen this in a... Oh, wow. Sorry, I got my little one running around here. She didn't disappear on me. Uh, the TV Royale. You can actually go watch just these epic battles between other people I mean so it's like as I'm playing I can see how good I am and you can see this guy here H20 he's ranked number 16th right now and the guy to the right in the light is ranked number 7 so if I hit watch I can watch them play and it's ridiculous I, I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna show you me play and then I'm gonna show you them play and I'll show you the difference on, uh, on styles so I'm gonna go ahead and set a battle Automatic opponent search, um, and then again, as my elixir builds up towards the bottom of the screen, I can place characters. Uh, it's just tap and touch. So, for instance, I want to place my barbarian, or excuse me, my giant there, and he's moving. I got people coming at me, so I dropped out a dragon. He's going to attack there. It's kind of quick pace. I got some arrows I'm going to spit out there to hopefully... Take care of that. And as you can see, he's beating down my castle. And if he does it, the enemy got pretty much a point or a crown, as we were talking about earlier. Now I'm going to try to speed this up here and see uh, if I can make a comeback. We'll see. So he's got a level 2 Damn, he's got a level 2 dragon coming at me over here. And as you see, I'm moving pretty slow. And he's, he's kicking my ass. We do have a time limit in the top right corner, so if um, 
if there happens to be a tie at the end of the time limit, meaning I destroy one of his castles and it's 1-1, one, one, uh, we go into times two elixir and sudden death. What that does is the next person to kill uh, a tower wins. Plain and simple. Nothing uh, too special past that. So my giant's doing his thing up there. His giant's doing his thing down here. I'm hoping I can get something else deployed. Oh, what? Bam! I got it. So we got that. I'm going to send out my dragon. Baby dragon level one. I don't know. if There might be a, a, an adult dragon. Maybe? I don't know. This guy here, this prince, he's a pain in the ass because as he's charging there, he does more damage when he runs into you from charging. Which you would think makes sense. Alright, so now I'm going to give you a little bit of strategy. I'm going to sit back, try to let my stuff build up. Uh, so I got 60 seconds. The elixir hits times two. Bam. So I'm going to unleash. I'm going to unleash the Kraken. No cracking yet, hopefully, but I'm going to unleash and hopefully I can, you know, maybe, actually he's going to beat me. Yeah, he's got me. So see, he beat me. Close game, but he beat me. whoop de do. So he gets three crowns, I get two. Um, and then we're at okay. We go back to the main screen and we've got, uh, I got two crowns up in that corner so uh, that's you know I need eight more to a chest so now you saw me play you saw a little brief example uh, it gets so addicting uh, but you need to keep an eye on it it's, you can't auto it or anything like that you have to keep your eye on it um, but I want to show you guys this because I'll come in and I'll just watch these sometimes we'll take this top one H2O rank 16 uh, versus in the light rank 7 uh, we can just hit watch it's like the game has its own YouTube channel in game. Um, and you can see how these guys play. Of course, since we're not either one of them, we can see what cards they have. They're building up to try to get high up first. And then they're going to start setting. And there's a lot of strategy that comes into it because it's not just throw all your stuff out and I win. It's, hey, you know, who can place the right things at the right time? get across the bridges, and, you know, when it's all said and done, have more crowns. Uh, I have drawn before, which nobody gets anything. It's just a draw. You know, these guys have some some monsters that, I know this game's only been out, like, I think a month, maybe two months, but uh, they're kicking butt, as you can see my little one here. Hey, baby, what's up? So, some reason, she never gets in my Summer's War videos, but anytime I'm doing another game review, she always seems to hop in. So, uh, you want to say hi, everybody? Say hi. Thank, there you go. See? Hold up. Come here. My little one. Ugh. Say hi. Wave at the camera. Right here. Say hi. There you go. Okay. Here we go. Mwah. So, she's my little good luck charm. Uh, too bad she didn't bring me more luck in Summoner's War, but hey, I won't complain. So, but anyway, these guys have a minute 30 roughly going, and nobody has done a significant amount of damage to destroy another person's uh, mini castle or big castle. Uh, so it's kind of like they're waiting it out. They're, they're playing the game, or they're not playing the game, they're playing the strategy. Because uh, you don't know who's who. You don't know what cards he has. He doesn't know what cards you have. He doesn't know um, what you've leveled your cards up to. That's another big one because you can level up cards. You know, he doesn't know what they are. Um, now we've hit uh, 60 seconds left with the plus two elixir. You will start to see it pick up and become a little more fast paced. But these guys are just ridiculous on how they do. Look at that. It's just ridiculous what they're putting out here, and it, it's this game gets so fun. I mean, I think I've I think I've killed my my phone battery once playing this in the past week, just for uh, just for trying to to level and get uh, more trophies so I can unlock more things. Um, yes, if you lose, you do lose trophies, but you don't get degraded down to where you lose cards or anything like that. So, but yeah, as you see, a YouTube within a YouTube. Um, nobody. We're at. 13, 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Somebody's got to destroy something quick. 5, 4, 3, 2. They might go to sudden death here. Yes. Sudden death, first one to... First one to kill something wins. So he's launching off stuff. I have a feeling he might win. This bottom dude, squiggle, squiggle, line, squiggle, cross, squiggle. He might actually win. Uh, yeah, look at that. So, and this guy at the bottom in blue has been pl playing defense, looks like, pretty much the whole game. The guy up top has been attacking. Uh, strategy looks like it's worked. He's going to launch that, uh, yeah, he's going to launch that little missile, <laughs> barrel missile again. Ooh, 11, and he got him. So sudden death, he won. Right of that. So there you go. So that's what it looks like. You can hit OK and go back. So it shows you, and you can watch. So you can see this one here, I watched it, won nothing. It doesn't give you the outcome, as you can see before you watch it. There's no, so it doesn't cheat. It just doesn't give you the outcome. It's just cool. And you see guys like here, like, um, Tar Torgus, 99, he's on the blue side here, and then the one below, he's on the pink side. So you might see some of these guys multiple times. But overall, it's a fun game. I'm loving it so far. I've got a lot to do. I'm most definitely going to keep this up on the side of Summoner's War. So yeah, y'all see, you'll, you will see more reviews on this one in the uh, two-player not-to-play section of my YouTube channel. So uh, with that said, this is your boy 2 old for games. This is my little one, too young for games, <laughs> waving bye. Say bye again. Take bye. There you go. Um, we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a good one.